not talking about every Jewish mother, you know? I'm talking about <laughs> my Jewish mother. Um, and you, you can't deny certain things. And I go through all of these stereotypes and actually where they came from, how they originated. Um, so, but if I, you know, I use an example, like if I said the guy was like, um, was like Tony Soprano, you know, he was, he was a big Italian guy like Tony Soprano. You know, you would get that image. You would know exactly what I'm talking about. You use it to paint a picture, not to make a fucking comment about every group of people, like every person in that group of people, you know? Um, but people are just taking words and deciding they're triggered or ideas, they're triggered and that yeah. they should never be uttered again. But this is the end of free speech as we know it. Because yeah. satire is so, we speak. The thing about me, I always, I've been saying this a lot lately that whenever you put, watch like a panel show, you know, like The View or uh, The Talk or, you know, or even if you're on MSNBC or CNN and they're doing a year end special, something, and they'll have all these experts, they always, have a comedian. Why? Because the comedian is going to tell the truth, is going to call the people out, is, go is not going to be afraid, is going to talk about the elephant in the room. And that's what we do. We speak truth to power, which is why people feel threatened by it. But our goal is to make you laugh. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're getting like a, a huge round of applause right now. I mean, I, I guess you sort of touched on, on I guess what I'm going to ask you next. I mean, why, why are people picking on comedians? Why does it seem that comedians are the ones we getting are? That's it's an, it's a great question. And I, I talked to Ira Glasser, who was the head of the ACLU mm -hmm. for many years. And cause I was just like, you know, what really got me was that the fact that you know, elected officials say things and use jargon or they, they use words and terms that are harmful. I mean, they make laws, they affect people's lives. And, and sometimes their speech can incite violence and yet they're protected. They're protected. They keep their jobs, you know? Um, and comedians, no, it, 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 and he said, it's really about power. It's all about power. And when you decide, okay, you know, this person can't speak at this college because they're, uh, really right wing and they spew, you know, stuff that I don't like, and they have opinions I don't like. So you ban that person when you have a liberal person who you agree with uh, come to campus, they can do the same thing. So what happens is you shut both of them down and who decides? Some white guy who's head of the college is like, okay, I'll make the decision. And this is what happens. It's like, no, you cannot ban any speech. Now, my one, you know, I do draw the line with lies. I don't, you know, I don't know why you know, lies are protected. Um, and I also draw the line when, as a comedian, people are like, oh, where do you draw the line? I draw the line when the audience is laughing for the wrong reason. That's where I draw it. So if I'm doing a joke about, you know, my mother or being gay or something, and I see that they're taking it the wrong way, that's when I call, call them out. And I'm like, no, that's not what I'm talking about, you know?